When Australia separated from Gondwana ages ago, its animal species were isolated from the rest of the world. Not quite all of them, though. Birds could still fly between the land masses. Giant birds called moas developed in these jungles where food was abundant and there were few predators. Some of them weighed as much as 550 pounds. This is a distant relative of those birds. This brush turkey, or pouched taligala, is hard at work. A kangaroo is watching him, but the bird is too busy to notice. These Australian turkeys are anything but lazy. The taligala is polygamous and has to provide a place for his females to lay their eggs. He's building a very unusual nest. The turkey gathers together leaves and other plant materials to build his love nest. That's a nest? <laughs> yes, it is. And some may weigh as much as four tons. That turkey's got himself quite a job to do. It works like this. The turkey gathers all the leaves he can. Then a fungus grows among them and they decompose. This process of decomposition produces heat, which turns the nest into a real incubator. The incubator always has to be between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius. To take the temperature of the nest, the turkey has a thermometer in his tongue or in his beak. We don't really know. And here he is, deep sea diving in a sea of leaves, all in the name of reproduction. A very original system. After a few go-rounds, scientists have decided that, evolutionarily speaking, these turkeys are very close relatives of the reptiles, since only these birds and reptiles use this system of heated nests. It's a curious case, but whatever it takes to reproduce, From here, I go to Africa, where some tribes hunt in a very unusual way. 